Hello and welcome back to Witcher 3. So I already played this part, however I had some problems with, um, with the sound and um, that's why we're gonna do it again. Um, so what we have to do is help Johnny, right? And um, we're gonna go and find him over here. However, first we're gonna go here and do something there very quick. Because where we where we are going now is a quest that we'll have to do anyway. It's a part of the um, Ladies of the Wood. Come on. Um, so that way we just gonna have it done earlier, and it should give us a different not ending, but uh, it, it should act a little bit, you know, uh, different to if we were to do the quest. In the, in the normal order, so let, let's try it. I'm gonna be a little bit careful here. Yeah. Nice. First, let's go there. So we, we found Tamara as a part of the uh, Family First quest. However, now we need to still find Anna. Looks like rain. And for those who are mm -hmm. uh, more observant, the place of uh, we probably know where Anna is already. Okay, okay. Okay, and we will be fighting the, um, the werewolf over there, but it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So, what we need to do is put this on and then put this on. Yeah, that's right. Yep, yep. Save. Let's do it. Show yourself. I want to talk. Because the problem with the werewolf is that it, um, Be gone. Be right, Be gone. um, it regenerates and it regenerates health very fast. So, um, have to be quick. Okay, now let's go and see who the. Come no closer. I know when it's your turn. Oh, 
come on. There are two more over here. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Okay, so now Are let's talk with the, the oh, spirit. So we're gonna help the spirit. I shall be free again. Yep. Break my fetters. Blood is my escape. A right you must perform. With the black of raven feathers. The white of my bones. And the swift steed. A male, wild and free. For some reason, the sound is a little bit off over here, but I'm just gonna plow through. There are a few things that we have to pick up. Uh, the last one will be the, the horse. However, this will be also. Uh, where are the ladies? Moon quest. The ladies of the wood. Yeah, so the feathers is in the same place uh, where uh, Johnny is. So we're gonna do Johnny's quest now and then we should get the we should get the feathers and here we should get the remains so we can do it and go first we have to kill the hug 
Why so aggressive? So aggressive. Wow. Not expect that. Ouch. Okay. Let's get something to eat in the meantime and let's put on this and this. Okay, now strange bones. Those are the remains. To me. The spirit. Um, oh yeah, I'll change the swords. We can keep them for now, but we'll have to change them soon. I like repair the the old ones that we have. Let's do this. Let's like this. This will let us dispatch the guys quicker. Footprint. Johnny's been through here. I like Johnny. I think Johnny is one of the one of the best characters in the game. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucker? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess.
Okay, let's follow Johnny. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. Okay, let's get him his voice back. Go this way. Come on, girl. Okay, great. Harpies first, and then take care of the of the wyvern. I think there's one more harpy here. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Here. Whiskey, slither, ringworm, rub a 
fish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! Ha! The sound of it! Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickle peppers by the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, you noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yep. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick, as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice. So I don't think she heard me. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers. And you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her. Got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. So we are here. Okay, let's walk Johnny and then when we are at the village we will uh, change our quest. We have two out of three things that we need for the for the spirit. like we achieve a certain proficiency fighting drowners which is not a surprise considering how many we actually have to fight Okay, so we're gonna leave Johnny here and I will do a quick manual save and uh, we're gonna change the quest. I don't want to go into the proximity of the village for now, because this will trigger um, Ladies of the Woods, uh, Ladies of the Wood, which we uh, with another stage of the quest, which we don't want at the, at the moment. Um, just want to do this for now.
sign. Horse. I don't know, we don't want to fight the uh, elemental yet. Too weak. The remains free to go. So now that we have this portion done, we can go and continue with Johnny. So we'll go here. Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You, you got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Ginny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? 
Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies, lovely. With power o'er all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. It's clear you met yeah, her. Yeah, we're not gonna be Tell me everything. That's explaining ourselves to them. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, White One, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, your mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. The lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone hunts. stone ears. Okay. thing of the way Okay, so now we have to go the other village, which is fine because we've already been there.
Bam. Talk with the guys over here. Come on. Do it only one. Greetings. Nice village. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Boy, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong Don't to be silly. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied, all oh, fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. It's already done. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. There's something lurking there. Believe me, you don't want to know. What have you done? Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors. Okay, now let's meet the girls. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. 
This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. Someone suffers to life. We read beast and trails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame. Objective is to escape. It's super easy. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back 
memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, <laughs> you see you and some light. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can watch it. I think so. Yeah, okay, it's time to go back to Baron this quest. Our stuff. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Pelagost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh, with rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge, damned souls too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Yep. Seems oh. like you could use a witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey, to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Remember me? Stable hand. Pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, I'm grateful. Okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just six. over here. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. 
She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, were called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? She's not coming back, period. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to return to a home like this either. Ah, horse bugger, you blind. I know what you think already. You've no need to repeat it. I've not been a good father, I know, but... Perhaps it's not too late. Can always try. Wouldn't count on succeeding, though. I've nothing to lose. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? We'll talk about her, don't worry. But right now, you'll tell me about Siri, just like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size, why, worthy of one of King Foltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Oh, we don't want to spill there. all the beans. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? Let's say I go about my business. And when there's coin to be earned, I don't readily turn it down. I've always held with the world how it is today. Lasses ought to know how to fend for themselves. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback, nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. Oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak.
Die dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Should be a relatively easy race to do. Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. Okay. Now we can go gallop. We should have enough stamina to finish the race. Horse, the mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. No problem, but first. Uh, let's do. See you. So long. Save game very quick. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. I'm listening. And let's play Gwent. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Do it. So this is the last down. last chance that we have to, to play Baron. So uh, we better we better take it and win. Seems fine. Let's see. Uh, it's okay. Thanks. Another five, then we win. Okay, let's see if we can win in in this round. Difficult, but hey.
Okay, I think we have it. Yeah. Still, and close. Oh no, not really, we had 80, that's what's going on. You won. The man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad about as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. Okay, and now let's finish the quest with I'm the Baron. Listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right, what then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have weighed to side, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger, to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement, if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. 
It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. And as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fought off his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. <laughs> I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were! Okay. We're just gonna keep our distance and attack when we get a chance. As soon as the bus is finished down.
teammate. I can't leave him like that. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Yeah, it's not about the money, but we will go. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. My men call him Uma and say he's a beast, but he seems a man to me, just hideous as a huddle of shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? Went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern, and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. 
cards were kind that day. At one devilish hand after another, robbed the horsons blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so let me um, leave all the stuff that we don't need to sell, the things that we need to sell, uh, repair our armor and weapons, and then we're gonna go and help the Peller with the Poor Father's Eve. Uh, however, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.